today let us go with the roles and users creation actually i already explained you how to create the snowflake account in last session okay in this session i am continuing with uh, how to go with the how to use users user and roles and how we can implement in uh, in our uh, snowflake account okay and what is the importance of that uh, two topics in our uh, in our snowflake interviews maybe working environment okay all this kind of information i'm going to provide first thing users and roles are managed by admin team okay you have to clearly understand here users and roles totally managed by admin team then still we want to you understand that means yes who is working as a developer at least you have to know what is user what is role all this information it may be helpful maximum it will be helpful for your certification preparation okay if you if you have this much background you, you can easily thoroughly you can go with that uh, topic for the certification preparation no pro certification or else very rarely you will get the uh, interviews related you are giving interview still you'll get uh, you'll i mean company will ask you to write the um, you have to write the exam not exam just a test kind of okay 10 20 questions about snowflake like that they will do sometimes some companies not all the companies so in that case also it will be helpful to you and other cases uh, if you go with the interview level maximum they won't ask you questions about this very rarely uh, in the time of initial phase of snowflake technology they used to ask nowadays i am not finding much things about this so very less people will ask about this roles and users but my you should keep attention on this uh, parallelly you have to understand the importance and why what where, where we can do all these questions you will get answers slowly this is i think so many people this is the first session don't worry guys it will take to at least minimum two to three sessions to make comfort yourself so please watch my first session then come to the second session recording it will be very helpful for everyone i'm requesting all you from my side okay okay guys what i got information from uh, uh inst Uh, what I got information uh, from the uh, my team means only eight people are registered for evening team or evening uh, evening batch for evening batch remaining all are new people we we got that information can uh, so we need to guide you uh, about this course okay who are new uh, I think Raj please help me like uh, what is the uh, main information we have to provide I mean Karthik sorry Karthik please help me so guys uh it this course will be 40 to 45 days uh session actually we will have recordings and materials uh, also we will provide on regular basis based on the topic what i completed that topic related materials if assignments are there assignments and uh, recording everything will be provided end to end okay so after once this course is completed we will help you myself will involve in this helps so we will help you to build your resume prepare for the interview preparation for interviews uh, i mean what are the tips you have to follow that that will be provided by me and also we will take the mock interview okay uh, you have to provide the mock uh, we will provide the mock interview session for you you can you can prepare yourself and come back with the mock interview process also okay i will take mock interviews in a resume preparation based on your experience what are the inputs you want to uh, you want i mean you required those inputs will be provided by me like this all areas till uh, what are the things required what are the requirements you have to get the interview or to start your interview process everything is provided by me only the thing what you have to do means you have to uh, correctly follow my classes and complete the topics on regular basis uh, prepare your notes yourself maintain the correct track of preparation everything end to end that will be helpful while you are cracking while you are giving the interviews okay so out of 30 uh, i think out of 32 eight people are uh, have uh, i mean eight people are registered remaining people are not registered please provide remaining uh, members phone numbers and email id 
then only you can continue with the next session because the link may be changes from next session. You may miss the session. That's the reason if you provide your phone numbers, they will help you to get into the next session also. Okay. Uh, Karthik, if I missed anything, please, uh, you can unmute and you can announce. Uh, no, Saishikar, everything is fine as of now. Uh, please complete your uh, complete explanation. At the end, I'll take over. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, we can start our session. And also, at the end of my sessions, I'll show you my real time work uh, environments also. Everything. Almost, we will try to provide all the real time uh, info inputs uh, from my side. Okay. Yeah. Then, so as per we discussed about today's information, uh, today's topic, I'm going with the roles and users. Okay. So, this roles and users totally account admin work. Okay, we no need to keep our hands here, but we should have knowledge on top of it. Because as a developer, when you are working, architect, developer, any role you can take, you should have minimum knowledge of the roles and users that will help you to manage your work easily. Maximum, how it will happen means in real time, one user, okay. One user will have multiple roles and one role will have multiple users how this this is the easy example everyone uh, generally can relate to your work working environment also for example hrs are there right hr is there right so suppose uh, some anu is one hr okay for example so, Anu will become HR for, I mean, in HR department also, so many uh, sub subcategories will be there, right? Uh, some people will be payroll related, some people will be technical HR, some people will be uh, some other administration, like that multiple. So, HR department only, but multiple roles. So, Anu will be involved in multiple roles, like this. For suppose means one person only you are seeing one person name one user only but multiple roles will be included in that hr department that is one myth and second one one role suppose hr role is there uh, not hr also i can take um, tech lead and tech lead okay suppose tech lead can become as a he will work as a developer and a lead 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 uh, membership and also sometimes he will work as a tester so here position is uh, uh no no not like this one minute i'm going there one role i mentioned one minute sorry yes yeah so this is in generally in your companies you'll see all this developer i mentioned okay developer so under developer role maybe kiran Kumar, right? Sham, like this multiple people. So role is one only. That's a developer role. But under the developer role, these three people are working. So multiple users, for example. Like that, Anu is one person only. But in HR department, multiple roles will be there, right? In internally, multiple roles. In all roles, she is working. So one user, multiple roles. One role, multiple users. Vice versa. It may be a bit confusion. You can post your questions in the chat box. No problem. Okay. So this is the way how it goes on. So with this, with the help of this information, you can understand why I'm saying one user having multiple roles and one role having multiple, uh, one role having multiple users. In my project also, I am only one person's history, but for me, I have different, different role. I can access a DA developer role, DA prod role, DA UAT role, like this multiple. Okay, one user means I'm the only one user, but assigned to multiple roles. Same way, DA developer role was assigned to me. My team is four to five people are there. Everyone have that access. So one role, multiple users. Like that, you have to understand this concept. If you understand this slides, remaining will be easy for you. So first, let me create the, uh, go to the roles. Yeah. 
here you can see different roles actually okay by default snowflake by default have roles so these are the roles okay what is the purpose of roles first of all before going to roles information what is the purpose what mainly user means okay as a person as a human being we want access on our account uh, on our account that because will help you to work on the objects right but what is the role means group of group of objects privileges assigned to role so object privileges means object related control will be assigned to role that role will be assigned to user simple okay for example hr department will be there generally right that is one role that department will have some access they can check employees uh, salary portal their employees information very deep level profile information they can capture because that role have that authority okay that role assigned with that authority but if you go to user without assigning to the role you are not hr but if you try directly assigning about that employees data is it possible no because they are the uh, i mean you have to assign to hr role automatically that role related privileges you will get am i right getting my point guys if you are not getting please ping me so first that some particular person will assign to role that role whatever for that role for that particular role whatever is not available whatever the uh, sorry whatever the privileges is available those privileges will be uh, accessed by user now you are able to catch this that is the relation between roles and users and object maybe for example databases we have in snowflake we have database and schema and tables and like this so many etc okay so many other actually objects etc so for this row this called objects this object privileges are assigned to a role maybe any role it's account it means it's admin any role any one of these role okay and that role will be uh, and that role that particular role will be assigned to user then as a user you will you are able to touch all these objects because of your role that is the importance getting my point guys you can reply guys it will be helpful me to move forward confidently yeah thank you also okay fine uh so this we are going to understand here this all roles if you if someone already created account they already will have this if someone not created who are not created snowflake accounts please create the accounts okay so this all are the what is this all roles okay by default in snowflake it will be available you know you are not going to create all these roles by default it is going to be available and also you will you are able to generally once it is available you can um, by default when you are creating account it will be available right uh, so what will happen means once you started working you in real time cases i am saying you will start creating the roles you means you won't do this project uh, designing time or implementation design calls time they will decide a few roles and they will create by default okay by default they will create that one that process so you no need to worry about the process also they will create and they will assign that role to your name you are the user so they will assign you are to this name so automatically the troll will have the access of all this okay so first a uh, user uh, in real time cases i'm saying in real project you won't uh, every day every time every for every user they won't create roles one time they will create the roles for you second time uh, whenever the new users are adding automatically they will assign the particular suppose for development work you join as a developer uat prod and dev is compulsory so they will assign to you the they will assign to those customized roles you join as an admin team member for example so what you have to do they will all they will create user account for you username 
uh, they will create a user for you for the access purpose and they will assign you to sysadmin, security admin, account admin like that based on your role what is the purpose of your hire why they are hiring you based on that they will assign so like that users will come into the flow but every time regularly we won't touch any uh, roles once we create and we'll keep and we will we will clearly mention for admin uh, for a developer role only dev dbt dev related schemas tables that's it for uat uat related schemas tables database for prod prod related so if you change to that role then only you can access if you don't change you cannot getting my point So let me discuss about the existing default roles. Then I can go show you customized roles. Okay. So we have org admin guys. Org admin role. Okay. What is the purpose of org, org admin means? This, uh, this role will help you to understand, uh, create the another account inside of the account. For example, I'm switching to this org admin. Okay, I know it's an org admin. Even if you want, you can switch here also. But on account level, if you want to switch, always you have to follow this. On worksheet level, if you want to switch, you have to follow this. Then go to accounts. Okay, this is already right now we have this account with uh, AWS and uh, A and Singapore location, right? Uh, suppose you have some more uh, like new projects or came, okay? Sub accounts is required, not this account. Another account you have to create. In place of creating in separate uh, uh, account out of Snowflake, instead of this, you can create. Even you no need to follow same day, uh, cloud provider, you can choose this another cloud provider also. Whatever the additions you want, you can choose that. Then click on next. Or else you can keep any name. It's up to you. Whatever the name. This is a simple way how to create the account. Okay. Let me copy the URL. Here it won't open. Better always go with the incognito window. Even here also it will take some time. Immediately you won't get this process. This you have to wait for some time, okay? Okay, anyway. Like this, we can create sub, uh, sub icons, but the whatever the bill it is charging for us, everything will be paid by this main account. Only. So only it can use as a separate project, but billing wise, only one billing, one payment is possible here. Okay, like this, org admin will help you to create the sub accounts with the different regions, different, uh, like uh, uh, not only regions, uh, different cloud providers also, it is an, an available. So, or uh, with the Totally with a new account you can fill, but everything will be in one account. Like that, org admin will help you to do that process. Okay. So that is the purpose of our org admin, guys. Then what is the account admin? This account and admin generally encapsulated with the sysadmin and security admin. Okay. So on top, generally uh, simple terms, if I say uh, account admin will be easy, uh, will manage in a high level. Totally high level, uh, even credit card, payments, everything will be managed by account admin only. So all the people won't do this, only account admin can do this. 
okay that is a, i can say it's a owner of a whole account that is the simple answer i can give it's can just like a owner of the whole account okay uh, so whatever you want to do whatever you are doing everything will be available if you are doing in other provider uh, other uh, roles also it will be available in the account admin also that is the power of the account admin okay so security admin security admin mainly the security admin even we have a account admin for example for example i will show mainly this particular role will deal with this payment method okay this role only will manage in real time also this only will happen that's the reason specifically I'm saying not only role uh, management of the amount but also other uh, high level activities whatever it want account admin only will perform okay that's the reason why uh, why it is more powerful if you observe one question like which role is more powerful in snowflake means obviously without any doubt I can say account admin okay getting my point guys So then security admin, security admin actually for managing, mainly managing per and uh, doing the process of grant access. If you have any object, maybe database schema, because this all un, uh, created by the user, user admin role. So this all created by user admin role, but uh, privileges related work is done by the security admin role. Okay, like this, it will share the work among between them. Getting my point? So both the roles have its own priority actually. If you assign uh, user admin, it can do the creation of the tables. If you assign to the security admin, it will manage the privileges. Manage the privileges means uh, suppose one table is there. You want to perform uh, on top of table, insert command, update, truncate, like these different commands, right? So that permissions, it will be provided to the role. Getting my point? So that is the difference managing the roles means. So both have that much uh, like uh, uh, what we'll say authority to do. In real time, yeah, the backend admin team will work with this process. Finally, sysadmin. Sysadmin you can see here. Okay. The purpose generally of sysadmin is you want to do any warehouses or you want to uh, do any table creation, some some developers work, you'll go with the sysadmin. Totally for development work, people will prefer the sysadmin to, uh, role to work. Okay. In real time, again, I'm saying we will have customized, but generally as per uh, Snowflake design, sysadmin only they will prefer to do this process. Ready? That importance you have to understand. That is my point actually. I hope you are getting my point. If you have any doubt, I will uh, give a break for some time. You can ask. So, sysadmin as a developer you can consider. Then what is the purpose of public admin means? Suppose if you create any role. Okay. By default, for every, that's the reason I mentioned. Automatically, this public will. Other roles you want to assign to the user generally. If you assign only, it will be available. That's a quite common. But only for public, okay, you don't want to assign. Once you create the user, that for that user, by default, it will be added. By default. If you not, you don't need to do any manual work. By default, it will be added. A remaining roles, it won't add. You have to uh, give the privileges. Get my point? That is the difference, actually. Okay, so the public you can take as a uh, just uh, like adding to every role at the time of account creation. It's not like owner for any any work environment here. Okay, just it will add and it will give the access of uh, sample data. That's it. Okay, I hope you got some idea about this. So uh, by default, by default, whatever the uh, whatever the roles you have in Snowflake, you got idea. I think so. Can I move forward or uh, you have any doubts or something here? Just you can ping me. I will answer to your doubts. I will unmute if you want at the end of the session. 
today just i am giving some overview kind of to you guys because so many people are new they want to settle down with their accounts a lot of a little bit settlement is required for every person so in next session i will go uh, with uh, more examples of the uh, topics okay yes uh, s kumar uh, atul kumar uh, it's only reading read access only okay nowhere it will even sample data also you will have read access only no uh, write access the person who have public just uh, read access no write access see the snowflake by default it is uh, 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 no the it don't have any, we want the user even for every uh, i mean generally public role okay never assigned to real time data it never and ever will be with real time data so in real time also it's just one role we won't use for real time okay by default they what they have what the thing is happening means at the back end when the user is created okay user should have one role minimum one role am i right minimum is a minimum thing so for that snowflake design this public uh, role if any user was created minimum this role was assigned by default they set the the back end when the real uh, when uh, when this role creation is happening sorry user creation is happening by default it will take this uh, uh, access from the public so by default the user will have public role access other roles you have to do manually but for every new user they want to keep one default role that is public so for just to manage the account not for work okay is it clear so even i also won't talk much about this because anyway we are not uh, giving any access or any importance to public so basic level i can say okay then i hope others are good to go right okay let me move forward so we are i'm taking some uh, customized database rules all this you will understand with a small examples okay so for example i'll create the database one minute If I go with this, let me create. Uh, suppose as a right now as a uh, user admin, we will create the databases. Okay, create database sales. So what will happen? This user admin. Okay, user. I have as now size three. Okay, think like this. Now size three is becoming the user admin. Okay. so one user multiple roles i mentioned right these are multiple to me one i am only one user but multiple roles okay so now i am creating the database it's not activated i think so azure account is not activated let me shift to this when i create a new account it switched to our uh, org admin okay
Vielleicht am ähm, Gedenk von. I think it's not assigned to my role, so I'm getting the issue. Okay, I'll explain anyway how to do that assignment also. Don't worry. So I created now one uh, database. Okay, in the on top of this database, now see if you observe by default, once you create not only role is yes, even schema also by default it will be created. Once you create a database, automatically information schema automatically public uh, schema is going to be added if you create database immediately this will happen so information schema will give all the metadata information public schema will allow you to uh, create any tables views everything any object inside of the schema by default you will get this now no i want my customized then create every project will have customized only guys names will be decided after uh, design calls okay design calls means once they will design what are the implementation implementations they want to do for that particular requirement in that design call they will decide what are the names you want to mention okay it won't happen by by our own a lot of backend design calls will decide about this create schema schema name you can take any schema uh, like i'm taking under this sales i'm taking customer okay now it was created now i have database schema and even this is the warehouse in once i completed these roles and users topic i'll explain you what is snowflake architecture also don't worry about that okay let me clearly give in inputs about this topic now so once we create we done this you can go here sorry why i am not able to do last time means if you observe for my user it's assigned only account admin and org admin that's the reason it not allowed me to create the database you're getting my point if it is allow if it, it should be assigned like this then it can be able to do this process See? that is the problem why i am unable to i mentioned right already there is a privileges issue now it is clear like that so anyway let me do this now for other i want i can come here i can create a user okay i think already i created right You already created a user, right? This time I'm trying to open. I think let me check what I created for last time. I'm creating a user now. Username is Kiran. Uh, and, and email ID I can use. password okay force user to change the path first time login because kiran if once first time he is login he is able to if i do check mark here he no need to use my password he can use his own password okay so i will show that options also create now it was created. No. See, now he is uh, he can try with his own password. So this is helpful every day. I am giving his name Kiran at the rate one two three. Okay.
ok you can see here now kiran i created right by default who's uh, what is the role he, he was assigned uh, public by default okay now you can see so now he have the uh, this is the way how to uh, create the user now if you want to uh, assign as an account admin because saishri is the creator the whole, uh, account so he is she will be the account admin generally but in real time also company up uh, uh, by with the help of company details some one person will create a snowflake account so he will be account admin generally okay later on we can give to two to three people no problem but initially one person will do this process okay so for this now i couldn't have privileges let me i can add i can remove i can do whatever i want like this whatever role i want i can use that okay so it was enabled okay account was enabled actually so you can see sometimes it is taking time guys for update so don't worry i'll show you again and again no problem in next coming up session also i'll come with a new examples for this topic it's taking some time morning also this happened for me We observe here we have so I'm granting here actually now it's was granted okay here it is uh, giving only basic uh, in basic uh, actually let me try now okay so uh, let me, this is a group privileges uh, some difference is there guys group privileges is different and this is different this is group by role okay this is grant role this is both are different so we uh, so only for monitoring purpose you'll get for this you'll get full authority that's the main difference okay just you have to go with the grant role option that grant role will help you to get this so now if you observe only kiran whatever the access we have i mean whatever the sysadmin role uh, have the access those tables those things only it can be pick remain all is not able to pick for example i'll show you this is little bit practical session you have to bear all this and then slowly you'll get into that touch okay now i'll show you the difference okay now if you observe guys you don't have any information here right just clearly observe you don't have uh, database and schema customized one right now what i will do means i'll go to my main uh, saishri account and i will give privileges to the user see now i have sales and in this sales i have customer okay i'll show you the difference go to database this you have to watch the video record i mean recording and then you have to execute it will be a bit confusion because so many options i am touching in the screen i know everyone will come with the one question sai sri you are showing me so many options we are unable to uh, get into it means if i show every class one option it won't go forward uh, it i mean we cannot forward in the sessions okay so you have to uh, go with my recording while you are practicing based on that recording you can practice uh, with the options you have to understand this process slowly you can practice it and get into the point so anyway uh, this is my database now this database should be accessed by the kiran so kiran have what are the roles kiran have the access sysadmin and public okay 
if we public anyway 100% we should not give but sysadmin if i give access to sysadmin even uh, this saishri can access the data even kiran also can as access the data if i give to other roles kiran cannot because he is not tagged with that other roles right that's the reason you have to go here privileges you have to add the one minute sysadmin okay and this is admin usage generally what you will do usage usage this admin i mean database always go with the usage only we won't give any other option now i am not giving customer schema level i am not giving if you go to schema level no only account admin no sys admin was added right let me show you here it will be really a bit confusion guys again i am saying it will take some time see no you don't have if i give access from the sys on top of sys admin uh, on top of the customer under sales uh, under the sales customer is one schema if i give access on top of it then we can this is same time taken understanding but again i'm saying we won't do on regular life thing okay don't worry just a minute I have, yeah, I, my wish if i want to use usage or uh, whatever i want i can do it one minute uh, yeah i have usage here let me drag uh, yeah i'm picking here only use the schema what is usage now people will get monitoring means okay we are observing modify means we are changing then what is usage usage is nothing but suppose if i give object suppose if i give my mobile to you what you will do please use my mobile you will use it use use it means you can create the uh, you, whatever you want you can take photos phones whatever it may be but you cannot do more than that means existing uh, changes you won't do you will want it if you want existing data you will use the existing information but you won't do more than that change in the customer schema name or doing some changes in the schema all this you don't have just you take that schema and use it for your requirement maybe inside of that schema you can create the table blah blah whatever requirement comes that you can use select star from like that read option only okay suppose if i give you can do whatever you want for example um for example i'll show you i can edit this option for example not only usage i want to create a table i want to create a role whatever uh, i want to create a pipe all this for example i want to create a table so what i am giving here who is having sys admin they can use means select star from table names whatever the table names we have in customer on top of the table name they can say select star from and also they can create new table because i may give the create table option privilege right like this based on your privileges you can use it getting my point i got ha read only hema read only you can take it as a read only option that is easy to understand okay now kiran also will have this schema see so whatever the role playing that role will be accessed by user now this is uh, actually this all uh, uh, i mean not customized roles default roles okay let me go with customized role and i will assign that role to this now i am taking one database can ha have the access of other uh, roles also i'll show you okay let me create the role again i'm saying initially you will get struggle don't worry about that this inheritance Inher inheritance means don't think it will take copy same whatever the powers we have accounted means same copy will be added here no just a basic information basic structure of the role creation it will provide to you they mention clearly is optional to you so if you don't have also it will give previously what happened means it's a compulsory now they updated the snow software also it's not compulsory okay if you don't give also it will create just click on create role So this is the way, okay. But again, I'm saying it don't have powers or like all. So now, if I give, if I add the user, see this role I have right for that role, I can add the user grant. 
even size tree also i can add how many users you want so here i proved that one role multiple users okay one user i proved here one user multiple roles vice versa right so this is uh, under, this understanding you should have mainly okay or else in real time you will get confusion they are providing so many roles so so many works i have to do not like that depends depend work is different roles are different to give access they are providing this so now whatever you do whatever the objects you have for example if you go now if you observe for example i got one more new question Yeah, that only I am saying, right? Uh, uh, that only I am trying to say. For example, uh, now sales analyst is there. Even Kiran and Sai both are users, right? So, two users added to one uh, one role. Like the sysadmin you can take. For sysadmin, now sys, for sysadmin, Sai is one user. Kiran is also one user. Yes, that is possible. Uh, okay, you cannot restrict user on top of, uh, sorry, you cannot restrict, suppose, uh, Sai Shri want to, you, I understood Sushil your question, you are asking, I want uh, to, I want uh, to ascend, for example, I'll, I'll clear your question, let me know if I am going in wrong direction, I mean, I am not clearing you, let me know, see, this is sales analyst, okay, you are saying for the sales analyst, um, Kiran and Sai Shri both are users, so Kiran and Sai Shri added to this users, uh, this both users are added to this roles now kiran want to create the table okay in this uh, some table or something but sai should not create right point you have to understand whatever the sales analyst have access maybe creating the table deleting truncate whatever access is there for sai shri and kiran will be applicable okay you are assigning both person both users to one role so one that one role whatever the powers it have the whole powers are accessible by users okay suppose you assign size three to sales analyst uh, sorry kiran to sales and sales analyst and size three to public now whatever you want only sales analyst role who have they can create the table public uh, use, public assign to which user that user cannot uh, create the table like that we can restrict but uh, assigning to one role and giving access of creation of the table and you cannot restrict like that getting my point you can try again i'm saying you try it uh, just try it maximum you 100 percent you won't create you, you won't be able to do it okay yeah thank you i think i i got your question so something i'm trying to show you yeah and now if i go here see, sales analyst is there right i switch it to sales analyst so if you have doubt something is not updated just refresh this button it will get clarity now whatever the things are there same uh, same access is provided to uh, sai shri and uh, even kiran so that's the reason if you jump to sales analyst role also we are able to access this getting my point you can see here this if you change at the left side bottom this account uh, this uh, switch role is the right you are in which role that will be applicable for whole account if you go here and if you change here for example see your database changes will be there okay if you change here this worksheet change i can say worksheet change if you done changes here this will be changed if you done change here the whole account access will be changed so it's up in re regular time we will do this change only because we want databases who will work with this gui maximum we will take this and we will start writing the queries so maximum changes will be here only see now you can see I didn't assign, right? Sales analyst, if you observe, sales analyst, did I assign? See. One minute, sorry. Database. See, for sales analyst, I didn't, yeah. uh, sorry, sales analyst role, I didn't assign to this database. So, it is not able to access. If I assign.
this is little bit manual work actually i have to okay this way you can check. if you jump here see but data not found because i gave only database level see guys you can restrict giving only database level and uh, giving only specific schemas uh, access like that you can restrict suppose you have 10 uh, 10 schemas out of 10 you want only two to three schemas access you want to assign like that you can restrict but users you cannot restrict on top of uh, user oh, sorry role okay so now i restricted i want only database access no schema access if i give schema level then schema also will be applicable schema going to this add the privileges so you ask you will ask the next question see in regular uh, real time work we will do this manual image see every day nobody will do one time schema will be created very one time i mean out of uh, suppose in my project recently we got some more new sources actually so one time they create a schema and database and they give access it's not big work actually one time work right they will do this is a, obviously that's a, a admin work they should do you should get see we got information schema metadata it contains metadata metadata means all the uh, inside of this schemas or inside of this database whatever the schema is in there the schemas related the uh, related metadata what is the table name what is the size of the table all this metadata will be there what's the schema all this so that data will be in uh, in will be available in the information schema that's the reason everywhere by default you will get this uh, option customer is our customized uh, uh, schema okay so it's we how to give then only it will be available like that uh information schema yeah sure uh, hema i will show you information will schema will have one minute let me go with the select statement this schema won't have anything because i didn't create anything let me go with this sample data you will have a lot of information you go if you want to explore information schema i will prefer sample data to touch okay uh if you go to uh, i hema uh, that is customer schema okay if you you want to go with the data i mean you don't have anything here empty right nothing will get for you let me explore the data related uh, tables so you'll have sample uh, sample data database in that information schema if you try you'll get lot of information suppose for example tables related let me yeah this table this is one metadata tables related metadata i don't i didn't uh, choose the warehouse so what is the problem here i don't have kiran don't have warehouse access so kiran admin person what they will do means they'll go here they'll go to warehouse to run the query i should have warehouse access right kiran i means kiran sorry kiran should have warehouse access right so i will provide to them oh. this is admin use it only use that warehouse use that warehouse and get the data don't modify that warehouse like that that is the way how you have to understand use means see now it have warehouse see see Cat database name schema name table name what is the table type and uh, any cluster by key what is the row count what is the bytes this all metadata this is not data metadata metadata means information suppose we, i'm sai shri uh, name is sai shri and uh, having 10 years experience working as a uh, uh, like software developer and all this on cloud technologies like this this is metadata inside what i know subject is different again right this is a metadata like that if you want to understand this is simple information i can so one table related size uh, count of the records that all information it will provide to us only for tables i explain you like that we will have stages information pipes information like different objects ready my point so this only i explained you guys uh, without opening the ppt i explained you practically 
I I have uh, next session also only for user and roles. Okay, this is not small uh, topic. I have to elaborate a lot. Okay, now uh, but before coming to next session, you have to explore this. I may I am talking about database, right? Right now, what is the purpose of database? To store the data. We are using the database. Am I right? So this database always will be on the account level. You have to understand the point. Database always will be on the account level, not on role or some level, total whole account level, right? Schema, again, schema also will be on the account level. Database is on account level and even schema also account level, okay? But tables inside of the schema, sorry, database level, sorry, guys, schema will be in database level. So like this, you have to understand. Let me give the simple flow. Even I will follow this flow every time. See, on account level, level, database. On da uh, database level, schema. Schema level, tables, views, all this. Okay. Again, uh, like this, we'll have the objects. Again, uh, storage integration also on top of account level only. I give all this information in my documentation. You can see data on account, top of account database, on top of database schema, on top of schema table. So this is the hierarchy. You have to understand this hierarchy. Then it will be very easy for you. Okay. And views also on uh, view level only. But warehouse. Just now I give access to warehouse, right? Again, I'm saying it's not easy within one day. You cannot be pro. You have to sit in patiently and you have to walk through the whole account. Okay? So this is the warehouse. This also will be account level because a total Snowflake architecture is storage storage layer, a compute layer and cloud service layer. So virtual warehouse is the second layer, means compute layer. Okay, that's the reason it is also goes under account level. Then storage integration also. Storage integration means to get the data from AWS to Snowflake. By using storage integration concept, we will get with the process. So that's that connection between cloud provider and Snowflake is called storage integration. Inside the storage integration, again, I mean, on schema level, we will use the pipe concept, stage concept. Again, uh, under, I mean, this, yeah. this is one. And privileges wise, now, just now you understand on top of account level, it's a database, right? Under the database, you have usage privilege, monitor, create schema. This all important one. So, I mentioned this. Under schema level, okay, schema level privileges are, uh, one minute. Usage, monitor, create table, create view, create pipe, all these objects. Under schema, whatever the objects come, all the creation. And under the schema, what we will have? Table. For that table privileges, select, insert, update, truncate, delete. This all we will use on regular basis. Don't worry. Just for theoretical knowledge, I'm saying you, every day we will use this. Don't worry. On the view level, select statement. On state, I mean, under schema, table, view, stage, I mentioned, right? So all these related privileges I mentioned here. These are the important minimum knowledge you should have this. It will be helpful when you are giving the um snow pro certification time it will be very helpful with this kind of knowledge in real time no interview questions on uh maximum on today's topic because at the initial stage of snowflake interviews maximum two years back 2021 20 uh, uh before 22 i can say like or mid of 22 like that they used to ask about the privileges and roles now they are not asking it became low priority question but you should have information one schema can have multiple users. Or multiple here, Jehema, again, you are going in the wrong direction. Multiple users, not multiple uh, uh, roles you have to mention. Again, I'm saying objects, if you are talking about objects, schema is the object. Object always assigned to roles. Roles you can assign to users. So whatever the object you are speaking, you should understand it is the that particular uh, uh, object is assigned to roles. For example, simple uh, example I'll mention here. In my real time case only, I got this issue. Now I got one task. They are asking me to work on that task. Okay, but for dev environment we have access. For UAT environment we have access of database schema and table. Okay, now I need to work on dev environment. Sorry, dev is not there. Prod and UAT, we have access. Dev environment, I don't have access. Now they are asking me to work on the requirement. 
But my problem is that to work on that requirement, I should use dev database on it. But there is no schema, no tables. They don't have access on top of the tables and schema. Then I got an issue. I raised, see guys, uh, I'm unable to find the tables and schema in this particular environment. They took as my request and they start, they shared me the privileges. To whom they shared, dev, to the dev role they shared, not to me. Again, you understand? Uh, inside of dev database, one minute, this is dev role. Now, size tree. Okay, here. So, size tree is using dev role, but she is not having the access of a schema which she want to work inside of dev database. So, they went to dev database and what are the schemas adequate? They gave privileges to dev role. Then, automatically, I am able to access. This is one requirement issue I got generally. So, like this, we will get. We have to raise our voice. When you will raise your voice, if you know the... Uh, proper information about the topics or else you don't know you will think you are not going in the wrong direction you i mean you don't know proper information you don't have subject like that you will become uh like a some hectic uh kind of situation actually it's not your issue it's a company privileges issue they have to provide if you know this subject you can ask yes i don't have you can ask with the proof like that's the way how why this is important for this snowflake uh sessions Okay, so I gave uh, today's enough information, more than this, uh, even nobody can take it. So have any doubts, please uh, share with me in the chat. If you don't have, we're done with the session, you can leave from the session. Please come with your questions. Again, you may think I am changing so many tabs, all this. See guys, if I want to explain, I have to go with there and here. That's the reason we are providing recording for you. Again, we go through the recording. Still, you are not understanding. Ping me tomorrow morning. I mean, tomorrow means whenever we have session. That time, just give me a message. Like, we go. I have this doubt. I will explain you. Don't worry about that. Quickly, please. If you have any doubts, you can ping me. Or you can leave the session. Be done with the session. Who joined uh, now? You don't have any. Like, you didn't join in previous session. Or you didn't spoken with my teammates. All this. Please share your mail ID and phone number. That really helps uh, to share the next session updates. Okay. Maybe next session we will change our link. So many things. Even material sharing. All this process is there. To receive all this, you have to share your phone number and uh, mail ID. Okay. Yeah. Done.